China posted its weakest annual growth in 25 years for 2015, and the main drag was the manufacturing sector. However, the 6.9% GDP growth rate is considered in line with China's target and is coupled with underlying structural changes. Our reporter Xiao Cheng takes a look at what's urgent for China's long-term economic goals. No major surprises for China's 2015 GDP figures. 6.9% annual growth is the slowest since 1990, which is in line with the government's target of about 7%. December was a cold month for the economy, capping the weakest fourth quarter growth since 2009 global recession. But authorities say the structural shift is encouraging. Services contribute 3.4 trillion yuan, up 8% to 50.5% of the GDP. This bodes well for China's long-term growth. But currently, the significant decline in the Rust Belt industrial sector is likely to keep the economy trending slower in the next five years. China is switching tack on supply-side reforms to tackle overcapacity more aggressively. Managing the policy tilts is key. The real problem for the Chinese government is how does it uh, uh, redistribute land, labor and capital across the economy? Uh, and that's a very difficult thing for them to achieve. And so what we've seen is a lot of um, unintended consequences to policy choices, totally natural and expected, but the problem is it injects volatility and uncertainty into the global financial sector and the domestic financial sector. And that's also vital for highly indebted corporate and local government sectors to sail through the hardship. That tells Chinese banks they have a tough job to fulfill. If you want to get banks to allocate capital accurately, you need them to then be able to price risk accordingly. And if, if I look across the Chinese economy and I say, is money priced effectively? I would say probably not. It's underpriced. China's central bank is likely to cut interest rates further to shore up growth, but that will put even more downward pressure on the Chinese yuan. The PBOC has been combating yuan bears on multiple fronts, but analysts still see a weakening bias for the currency. The, we anticipate that uh, around 2020, the exchange rate will probably be around a 6.4 six, uh, 6 range. Um, uh, right now, it's devaluated a lot uh, and fluctuated a lot, but eventually it will bounce back a little, uh, and uh, we think it will end up around a 6.4 range. Analysts say China's monetary and physical policies really need to be accommodative at this delicate juncture. They strengthen that Beijing needs to find a balance between giving the market more say in economy and managing the downside risks accordingly. Xiao Cheng, CCTV, Beijing.